Hey, what's up movie fans? I'm here with a movie review. Today it's for Hostels, directed by Scott Cooper, who did some of the coolest movies of their prospective years, including Black Mass, Out of the Furnace, and Crazy Heart. He gets great, earnest performances out of his actors, and he shoots in some of the most incredible vistas that you can imagine. The cinematographer for this film is Masanobu Takanyagi. I do apologize if I mispronounced that. He did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Uh, this movie is just a, a rich, earnest film. Uh, there's, there's just emotions and twists that, that really shook me when I was seeing this movie. Um, Christian Bale, in 1982, portrays, uh, I wrote his name down so I didn't forget it, Army Captain Joseph uh, Blocker. Uh, this is a very respected man in the Army, almost as high up as you can possibly get. Uh, and he is moments away from retirement when he is tasked, a.k.a. ordered, to do one final mission. Um, this is in the hotbed of Native Americans, also known as Indians, and whites that are a huge animosity. There's obviously different tribes of Native Americans, and there's good people and there's bad people. But in war after war, battle after battle, uh, Christian Bale's character has basically decided that they're all bad. But unfortunately for him, he is tasked with bringing um, a family of Native Americans from New Mexico, Fort Bering, New Mexico, to the grasslands of Montana as um, West Studi's character uh, is is a, a dying Cheyenne war chief and they want to take him um, back to his tribal land along with his son played by Adam Beach aka Blackhawk and their their prospective family. Um, first I want to say it's so refreshing to see uh, Native Americans in film in general it's very rare, unfortunate, um, but it's even better to see them portrayed as stoic heroes. Now, the first scene of the movie, we we see savage Native American attack. Um, they're they're Comanche. It's widely known that Comanche are some were let's just say a lot of Comanche were known for being ruthless and bloodlust, and they would even kill their own. Um, but these are Cheyenne. Uh, folk, these are good, honest, earnest people, and they were, I don't know, I don't, I don't, we don't know the whole gist of the story, backstory, but he's learned his lesson, he's, he's unfortunately dying, and he needs to be back to his homeland, so he is tasked with bringing these people back, you know, basically across the country, um, along with him, he's got Jesse Plemons, who plays as Lieutenant Rudy Kidder. This guy, he he's just he's in these smaller roles and he he's a great character actor. Um Timothy Timothy Chalamet is a private Philippe um did Jardine. I'm pretty sure this is the same guy that was in Lady Bird and I got to say I loved his performance in this movie. Um Jonathan Majors plays a buffalo soldier and he is sensational in this role. What a great, great performance out of this this young man. I see great things from him. Rory Cochran plays basically um, the best friend of Christian Bale's character. And he is a man who who has some demons in him. And he's so good. He was in a movie called Oculus, which I highly, highly recommend you check out. Phenomenal independent movie. Great, great thriller horror. Um... And he plays Master Sergeant Tom uh, Metz. Um, this this brutal attack that we see is actually Rosamund Pike's family's uh, attack. Uh, family was attacked. Rosalie uh, Quaid. Uh, they were attacked by the Comanche, and along the way, they find her. They find this barren, burned down home, and it, it's a metaphor for for her soul. She's lost her family, and they decide to bring her along. He's he sees her, uh, he sees that there, there is something to save right there. And along the way, it's like saving himself. 
I'm not trying to ruin this movie, spoil it. This is basically, I saw the preview like one time, if that, and it's great. Along the way, they pick up Ben Foster, who is one of my absolute favorite actors. He is so good, and uh, just, you gotta, just Google Ben Foster and check out his whole filmography. He's great. It's kind of the one bad thing about this movie is I would have loved a lot more of him in the movie, more development, and there's certain things in this movie that probably are paralleled with No Country for Old Men, the, the negatives that I heard about that movie. Certain things, certain characters are not fully fleshed out, eh, pun, and we don't see we don't see the whole crux of their of their story arc and i would love to see that but say la vie such as life can't get everything you want but i did get a great movie it was worth the price i paid and it was uh worth the 2 hours of my life it was a very beautifully shot movie well acted movie and uh i i can't recommend it enough it's a little bit different here and there than I was expecting, but it is a solid Western and uh, an A-OK -okay movie. Yeah, solid A-OK. -okay. I don't know. But uh, I highly recommend it. I think Scott Cooper is slowly going up that ladder of being a great, great director. So let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel at London Hawthorne. I am six people away from 1,000 subscribers, and that is my huge goal to hit by February Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you could click on an ad or commercial embedded in my video, it helps me pay for the movies and some popcorn. Thank you very much for watching. I truly do wish you the best. Leave a comment, a movie you want me to watch, a movie you want me to avoid. I love talking movies, and I will respond to every single comment. Thank you so much. It's London Hawthorne. Have a good day.